Hey guys, Panther Gaming right here right now bringing you another TFT video on my fundamentals. Today we'll be going over leveling, rolling, and economy. These are three fundamental concepts that you need to understand. They're relatively simple, but they're important from iron all the way to top challenger. So I want you to learn when to roll, when to level, and when to kind of maintain or break streaks. So if you're not re-rolling, you're going to roll on level six a little bit, then level seven, based on how healthy you are, and then you're going to set, like roll all of your gold in level eight. So if you're re-rolling, then you cannot level because if you're on level four on three one and you want to re-roll for one cost, that's when you re-roll for one cost on level four. And then you want to stay on level five until you find your one cost three star. Now, if you're, if you're rolling for two costs, the optimal level is level six. So you, you want to level possibly on curve, perhaps a little bit later than on curve, and you want to get to level six, and then you want to roll for your two cost three star. If you're re-rolling for a three cost, then perhaps you should consider it on seven, but you can also do it on eight if you want to level up and put in another unit. Otherwise, you're only going to level on six, seven, and eight once you level up. Now here are the standard leveling curves. You should most likely level on 2-1 to level 4, 2-5 level 5, 3-2 level 6. That's when you can roll a little bit to get stronger. And then 4-1, 4-2 level 7. Again, you roll a little bit to get stronger. And then on 5-1 uh, or 5-2, you should go to level 8. And these are like on-curve uh, leveling uh, hints or, or uh, advice because... Uh, if you have a shit board, you do not level on 2-1. If your board is still going to be shit, you don't level on 2-5. If you're going to reroll, you don't level at all here. If you're, have, if you're having a great game, then you can level on 2-6 uh, to level, level 6 even, or 3-1 to level 6. So this is just to kind of have an understanding of how you should play if you're going to be playing standard. And then if... Uh, the situation arises that like, okay, you want to reroll for, for one cost, then you don't buy XP. If you're having a great game, then you level a little bit ahead of curve. And the important thing is to maintain your streaks. And that's what I mean. That's why you break the first two rules. If you're on a lost streak, you don't want to level. There's so many people I see just autopiloting and leveling on 2-5 when they're on a three lost streak. If you're on a lost streak, don't level. Econ up, keep the lost streak going. If you're on a win streak, then perhaps you should level more aggressively because you want to make sure that you maintain your win streak. So if you're super strong and you have a good unit to add, just level to six on three one and add that unit. Keep that win streak going. So that's the important thing. Like know when you should when you should level. Like what's standard. Know when you should typically roll a little bit, but you want to maintain your streaks. So as I mentioned before, you always want to roll a little bit after leveling. Like on three two, unless you already have three upgraded units, you want to roll, right? The, the thing is why, like, it's really important to know that you want to level up and then you want to roll is because you have better shop odds. So if you level to six on three, two, you're much more likely to get two costs because that's a 40%. That's like the cap of two costs. And you're also more likely to get three costs because you want to get stronger, right? So that's why you don't roll before you level. And then once you, once you level and roll, on 3-2, possibly 3-5, if you're having a bad game, then you need to stabilize on 3-5. This is level 6 or level 7 if you're having an aggressive game. Then again, you just chill. And yes, I've been asked this so many times before, it is okay to have more than 50 gold. You can have 60 gold, 70 gold. Just don't spend your gold. Just level, roll a little bit, and then just save up your gold so that you can level again on the next interval and roll again. And something to keep in mind when you're leveling and rolling. Because sometimes I see people leveling up and not having any gold to roll. There's no point leveling up even if you're going like if you're going for the standard on curve levels, like these ones, three, two, four, one, five, one, five, like three, two, four, two, five, two, basically, if you don't have enough gold to roll. And you need to you actually need to do the math, like, what do you need to need to hit? What do you want to hit? So if you want to hit a, a, a particular three cost on 3-2 or a particular 4 cost on 4-1, how much gold do you think you actually need to roll to hit that 4 cost? It's probably not going to be like 
four or eight gold, right? Because if you roll four shops, you're probably not going to hit exactly what you want. And on top of that, you're going to need gold to buy the unit that you want to play. So just keep that in mind. I think, I think the bare minimum you should have after leveling is 20 gold so that you can actually make use of the next level shops. Ideally, you want to have like 30 gold and even better if you have like 40 or 50 because if you level up and you have 50 gold left to roll, you can roll down to like 30 or 20 and then you still have 20 gold so you're still getting more interest so that you can level up again. So like we're talking about level 7 going to level 8 because if you level up on like on 4.1 or 4.2 to level 7, you roll down to 0, you're going to have a really tough time leveling up to 8. Like yes, you can level up to 8 on 5.1 even if you roll down to 0. But then the problem is you have zero gold again. So like you level to eight, but you can't roll. So you can't actually utilize the better shop odds. So you got to make sure that you have good economy to roll after leveling. And it's always good to roll a little bit after you level up because you can hit better shops. And another thing to keep in mind, since we're discussing economy, uh, in the early game, uh, gold is more important than HP. Yeah, just keep that in mind because I have a lot of people uh, probably like Platinum and Below who freak out like, oh my god, I'm at 7 HP, I gotta roll. No! You gotta make sure you have enough gold to get your economy going and then later in the game you care about your HP. So if, if I could start the game at 50 HP or 50 gold, I would do that every time. Like if you, if you had said like, I can trade 50 HP for 50 gold, I would start every game with 50 gold and 50 HP. Right? That's so good. Like if, imagine like on 2-1 you're at 50, 50 HP, 50 gold. That is broken. And that's the same thing, like, even on 3-1. If you're at 50 gold and, like, 60-something HP on a perfect loss streak, that's really good. Because then you can use that gold to level up, to roll, and kind of to catch up. That's the amazing part of TFT. There are catch-up mechanics. The lot, like, loss streaking and the loss streak concept overall is great so that you can catch up. And then in the late game, as I mentioned before, like, yeah... Maybe if you're on like 20 HP or less, then HP is more valuable than gold. That's another thing I see sometimes. Like people have 50 gold on 20 HP. Then they have a bad loss. They're on like 5 HP and they're like, oh fuck, what do I do with like the 60 plus gold? And they don't have enough time to roll all the gold and then they die with like 30, 40 gold left. That's also bad. So like, just keep in mind at the start of the game, don't care about your HP as much. Make sure you get a lot, a lot of gold. And once the game goes late or once... Once you don't have enough HP, once you're low on HP, you got to use your gold to make sure that you don't die. So HP is another resource that, that a lot of newer players don't think about. They, they see how much gold they have, but they don't think of like, oh, I can trade HP for gold. So please do that in the future. Now, just a quick recap. You should always roll after leveling to make sure you get stronger and you benefit from the better shop odds. You should try to level on curve when applicable, which means if you're not going for a loss streak or a reroll comp, or if you're not going for, for a really strong win streak. So like leveling on curve means you have like a decent board. You're not perfectly loss streaking or perfectly win streaking. So you just level on curve to kind of stay on par with the lobby, have a decent amount of HP, have a decent amount of gold. And whenever you can, try to turn your HP into gold and then use your gold to get stronger to save your HP. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to improve in TFT, you can join our Discord community where there's additional resources and you can get coaching. Take care guys, Path of Gaming out.